welcome to my channel. If you're new, I'm Tiana, and if you're returning, hi. So today I wanted to show you guys how I wash my beauty blenders. They're the real technique ones, like they're the real technique beauty sponges, I believe they're called. I'll have a link in the description down below. But I will say I have not actually washed these since, well I've washed them once, I'm not gonna lie, I've only washed them once since I purchased them. The card for when I purchased them is going to be up here, which was in my drugstore makeup haul, which was a while ago, and I only have two beauty blenders, and I bring them with me everywhere I go, and I've only washed them once. So today they are in a very good need of a cleaning, and I'm going to show you guys how I clean my beauty blenders. Nothing crazy, nothing fancy. I just wanted to show you guys how to clean your beauty blenders. Just to give you an example of how dirty they are. Like they are so gross, I really do need to wash them. So we're going to. Before we get into that, make sure to go follow me on all of my social media as it pops up right on the screen and it's also going to be linked down below in the description so you can go and check it out. Make sure to subscribe if you have not, ring that little bell to be notified when I upload next. And I think that's about it. So without further ado, let's get into this video. All right, so first things first is you're not gonna need a lot of things. Basically what you are going to need is a cup so you can put some water in it and your beauty, blah, blah, and your beauty blender as well. You're gonna obviously need your beauty blender, a sink, and you're gonna need some soap. So first you're gonna wanna make sure your cup is clean because cups can get dirty like mine is and I don't want to be washing my beauty blender in a dirty cup. So I am just gonna rinse out the cup quickly. Now this step is completely optional if you want to or not. So what I do is I like to fill the cup up with water You want to have it filled up, but you don't want to have it too, too full because you are going to put your beauty blender in the cup of water. Now, it doesn't matter if it's hot or cold because we are putting it in the microwave. So hold your beauty blender in the cup until it gets full of water so that it kind of stays down to the bottom. As it's soaking in the water, I'm just going to go grab some baking soda to put in the cup. I like to put a good amount of baking soda in to the cup so that the baking soda can dissolve in the water and I find that if I do that, it really helps clean and take out some extra stains that the Beauty Blender has and it also fights a lot more dirt. Now that the Beauty Blender is full of water, it got bigger, I'm going to go stick this into the microwave for about mm, probably 15 seconds so that the water can heat up and it can take out any bacteria and kill any germs in the sponge. All that dark stuff there, like that orangey kind of stuff, is actually my makeup right there. Like you can see like all of the makeup. <laughs> That's pretty bad. Take the cup with the beauty blender and I'm just going to soak it in there. Now be careful because the cup and the water can be hot. So just hold it down and then take it out. And now I'm going to squeeze everything that's gonna come out of here. Now remember, there's no soap, it's purely baking soda and water. Yuck. So if you wanted to skip the baking soda part, all what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your water, run the beauty blender under, under, <laughs> run it under, get the beauty blender wet, then you're gonna wanna take some soap. I'm just using some Equate hand soap. Basically anything that you can use for your face so that it's gentle on your face. This is really gentle on hands and it's fine for your face so I am just going to use this and because it's the only thing that I have available here. <laughs> so you're going to take like a pump and because my beauty blender was already wet I'm just going to go over the beauty blender with the soap and I'm just going to rub that in so that it gets foamy. All right, so next what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn the water on, run it under, and squeeze it. Mm -hmm. 
So wherever the darker part of the sponge is, you do want to kind of squeeze it out from there. So like you're going to squeeze it from here instead of just squeezing because anything that's in here, what you want it out and not pushing it back in to the beauty blender. So I'm going to go over it one more time with soap and then do the same motion and see if anything else comes out. These aren't going to look perfect because I didn't wash them for a long time and they're probably going to be stained, but that's how come I used baking soda. Now you will notice the second time around I did go like this more only to try and get whatever was really in there out. The first time I like to really focus on where this stain is and the second time because there's lots of product out, I will just squeeze it to get whatever out. Alright, so this is after two washes. I am going to do a third one um, just to try and get a little bit more of this out and make sure that there's nothing left in here. And you do want to be careful when you're washing your, blah, your beauty blenders because they can rip because they are a sponge. So just be gentle and mindful of that as well. That's why I don't rub it on anything because I don't want it to snag and rip. And make sure to wash your hands before you do this. So what you're going to want to do is make sure that all of the soap is out. So if you do want to start squeezing it like this because most of the product is out, you can do that. This is what I mean by it can break. I did this the first time I washed my beauty blender. I did rub it on something and it did snag. So it can rip a little bit. So that's why I'm very careful the second time. But this is the final result of the first beauty blender we are washing. So it looks like this as opposed to really dirty. So it's time to wash this one. This one is going to be so, so gross, but I'm going to show you guys how I wash this one as well. So we're going to go from this to this, like nothing. Same process with this one. So it's back, that's what it looks like. This sponge is already wet, soaking wet. I'm gonna put some soap on here. So I do try to put the soap where it is the dirtiest and rub it in so that most of the stuff comes off.
that's the final result of it. I'm actually surprised at how clean these are after what they looked like. That was so gross. Now they are clean, they are good, and they are ready to be used again. That's the after. So that is the after of washing my beauty blenders. That is how I do it. You can buy fancy formulas, this, that, whatever. I find that using baking soda, putting in the microwave, and then using some soap works very, very well. I like the smell after, they feel so fresh, so clean, and you're not putting a bunch of chemicals on your face. So what I like to do, that's what I've been doing. Even with makeup brushes, I still use baking soda. There's gonna be that link of how I washed my makeup brushes right here and in the description down below. So if you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you do something else to wash your beauty blenders, let me know in the comments down below. Or if you have a video, leave that link in the comments so I can go and watch it. And yeah, make sure to go follow me on all my social medias. Like I said, they are all in the description box. And make sure to subscribe if you have not. And make sure to ring that little bell to be notified when I upload next. I will see you guys next time with another video.